Hello, hello, my paper peeps. Today, I want to share with you a new way to scrapbook. It's just one of my favorite ways of cataloging my memories. And I've been doing this for a few years now, and I've been sharing some of the ways I've used postcards as a way to catalog and save those memories from trips or events. And I just wanna share this with you. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christine, and I love to create DIY scrapbook journals. And I love creating them in all different forms, whether it be DIY journals that look like books, or in this case, a recipe card slash postcard system that I have come to love. And last year I created what I call the blush collection. And this is a compilation of postcards, journal cards, as well as a mini album, all divided up by different categories. So you can see here, this is my recipe box that actually has a mini scrapbook journal in it. And inside the box, you actually have this, this mini album that has other tags and tabs where you can add more journaling or photos to it. Then you actually have, just like a recipe card box, you actually have these dividers here that um, in the blush collection, I've added a few different types of tabs. Some of them are character tabs. So for example, um, strength, enduring, patience, being grateful. And then if you find that, you know what, maybe you're not into journaling your thoughts or feelings or personal growth, I do have other tabs that are strictly for just photos or even just your thoughts. Like for example, you know, dreams here, your thoughts on motherhood, really, uh, some of them are um, tabs on your best time. So what you can do is you just kind of place all these cards or photo cards or even um, say, for example, here, this one is from last year. One of our precious moments is, again, a barbecue that we had with our family. And so I have frames on the back and some quotes and then just kind of my thoughts and feelings because... <laughs> my crafting community loved this. They were like, Chris, you got to make another one. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I, I spent the last month going through and trying to figure out what I would like to create for this year. Okay, so it's pretty much the same idea because I'm introducing this in spring. I call it my bloom collection. And it has, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it has four series of different postcards. There's two per series. And then I tried to be a little bit more intentional here where each series has uh, the back side. You can see there's the postcard and then there's the back side of the postcard. And you'll notice that this is the side that you cut from. And you'll notice the back side is a little larger because every printer is different. And so I want to make sure you get that full image on the back. Um, so yeah, so that's what you'll notice. So if you do purchase this, I'll put the link in the description box below. You have to make sure that you cut from this side here. And so with each of these series of postcards, so you'll get the postcard with the back side, and then you'll actually get matching journal cards with, you know, a back side of that journal card as well. And then to match that, you'll also get framed cards that you can add pictures to. And then on the back side of the photo pages, you actually have a place to journal as well. So there's so many different ways of cataloging your memories or even just your thoughts and feelings. So I just wanted it to be one of those systems where if you want, you can just strictly journal or you can add photos if you'd like and just specifically catalog your memories that way. Now, the one thing I also added were these theme or category dividers. And you'll see here in the middle, there's actually places where you can place quotes. And I love, I love inspirational quotes. I love things that inspire me to, to write. And so I've actually added some quotes here. Some of them are proverbs, 
Uh, some of them are psalms. Some of them are just maybe just quotes on spring. Because again, spring is a time where it's a time of renewal. It's a, it's a time of rebirth and regrowth. And so I thought I would add some quotes that would reflect that time of, of year. So there's quite a few here. Now, it's up to you if you want to use those. And I thought that they would be perfect to add, to cut out and add to these theme or category dividers, or even just as embellishments to your, your postcards. And again, in keeping with this whole idea of scrapbook journaling, I wanted to give everyone this option. An option being, if you are into journaling, then you have this whole process of personal growth tabs. So, you know, your relational, I call them relational roots or your mental marigolds, I don't know, like mental mental growth, your physical growth, or your spiritual growth. And so if, if it's more for journaling, then you can use these tabs. Now, if you're like not into that, and you're just like, no, I just want to catalog my memories, then here, I just have some tabs here uh, for family, friends, special occasions, your graduation, holidays. So you can just file away any photos that you want in that recipe box. If there are categories that you want to add yourself, I actually left some tabs that are blank. And then I also just have tabs that have just quotes on it. Things that you can just kind of embellish the, the, whole, the whole journal with uh, and just place them randomly wherever you want, really. And of course, I love to embellish. So I've added um, a lots of stamps, more ephemera, so you can layer on top of the frames if you want. Again, more tabs, because I love to embellish. You know me, I, I really love to kind of let things stick out and and uh, have this visual interest, this, this, I love it when something draws your eye inward. You know, I'll have these on the coffee table and I'll have people come over and they'll be like, oh, what is that? <laughs> And so I have no qualms about them just going through my journals and then reading whatever my thoughts and feelings are. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> well, maybe I do, but most of the time they won't read it. <laughs> Either way, um, I do have frames again because if you know me, I love to layer my frames. I love that whole idea of layering and, and adding more depth to my journals. So this is all for you. I'll, I'll put the link to all this in the description box below. But for now, let's uh, let's cut this all up because I want to show you exactly what this looks like in the box. So here we go. And then I also just have regular just journal pages. So there's nothing on them. If you just want to journal, you don't want any color or anything like that. You just kind of want to add on to. So there's these as well. So now that we have our cards here, I actually have several um, of these tabs. And then you have your matching postcards, uh, journal cards, frame cards that you can place photos in. Um, you have additional frames here that you can layer one on top of one another um, if you want to layer or if you don't like this this frame here and you, you, you want to cover that up and go, you know what, I think that this looks better. You know, shockingly, this does look way better than that one. <laughs> I might actually uh, go into the printable and, and uh, switch that one up. This one seems to look a lot better. You get more, it looks, anyways, I think I might do that. So yeah, so you can cover that up and go, you know what, I don't like that white. I like this. Or what you can do is, if you like that white, you can actually just um, trim the inside of this out and lay it on top. So you have, you know, this layering effect that um, you can you can get from layering these frames. Oh my gosh, it's endless. You can do so much with these. And then again, you know, go to your printer settings. If you don't like the sizes, you can shrink them down and then have them layer that way. Either way, you've got... Um, you've got free reign over how you want to create these. Now, if you do like the postcard size, make sure that uh, you print them out so that they come out as four by six. And in this case, they fit in this beautiful little recipe box as a four by six. And then decorate to your heart's content, which I'm going to do. 
Now, in the next few videos, if you're new to my channel, I love to add to my paper lines. And you'll notice that as time goes on, I will show you different ways of how to embellish these. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to use pollen. I know you're like, pollen? Yes, I'm going to show you how to use pollen in these cards, as well as Winks of Stella. I'm going to show you how to use those as a way to embellish your cards. And then, you know what, the hottest thing right now is your Spellbinders Better Press system. And I'm going to show you how to use those within this system here as well. So let me get all this together for you. And then as time goes on, as the next weeks go on, I'm really going to show you how to jazz up this scrapbook journal. I'm hoping that you'll be impressed with some of the things, some of the techniques I'm going to show you. So we're not done. I actually even have a mini scrapbook journal that I want to add to this alongside uh, some cards because when I'm journaling, I there's always someone that comes to mind. And so I love to um, maybe write a word of encouragement to that person and um, slip that in a DIY envelope. So stay tuned for the next few weeks because I really wanna show you how to really amp this up and make it look fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So take care, I hope to see you in my other videos and let's create something that I think you will truly enjoy. Bye.